I'm Lorenzo the Juggernaut Hunt, and we are backstage at BKFC 16 with Bare Knuckle News. This is Melvin Gillard after his fight. How did it go? What was the game plan? What the hell happened out there? Man, I was good. Everything was good. I rocked him with a right hand. I'm stalking him. We got into a little bit of a dirty boxing clinch. And then from there, he kind of like, he's six, he's six foot on five nine. He kind of had leverage on me. You know, he shoved me back. I slid back on the, on the pole. Once he started swelling punches, I just started to slide down. At that point, I, I ended up sliding my ass all the way to the bottom rope, so I sat down. I mean, I would have took the eight count because technically that's a knockdown. I mean, I, it's my fault that I sat down. There seemed to be a little bit of confusion well, with the rules well, or what's going on. Well, the referee, that. when I stood up, I said, bro, what the hell? Where's my eight count? He said, oh. The referee said, oh. Oh, so he forgot. He forgot it. Fight. Yeah. Not over. He treated it like an MMA fight. In MMA, even in MMA, Herb Dean would say, hey, keep working, keep working, work out. He'll give me a chance to get up. But this is boxing, right? If I sit on my ass, I got to take, I got to get right, the eight count. Knee, yeah, right. I got I to gotta get that point. He give that point to him. So how you feel about a rematch? How you man, feel about it's fighting gonna, it again? It's going to be an immediate rematch. Immediate yeah, rematch. David already told me. Mr. Dave told me it's going to be an immediate rematch. All right. Hell yeah. All right, so so like I say, we backstage with Melvin Gillard after the weirdness, some weirdness with the BKFC, with the new refs and everything, but we're trying our hardest to get it right, and hopefully Melvin Gillard will be right back, and we'll right this wrong. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys, man. You hey, guys and then, this fight was for my best friend, Brandon Brewer, man. He passed away last Saturday. He was supposed to be here tonight with me. Army veteran, decorated soldier. He passed away last Saturday, and he was like, he went, we buried him today, actually. I actually buried him and then came back to him for the fight, so. This one was for Brandon, man, but we gonna write this one.